a destitute panhandler with an amazing gift. Say something with that great radio voice. When you're listening to nothing but the best of oldies, you're listening to Magic 98.9. That video shot by Ohio's Columbus Dispatch has 18 million views on YouTube. Now, meet Ted Williams today. A year ago today, I was living in tents, under bridges, smoking crack, doing all the, the wild thing. But this is where I live, man. This is where I, I got a fireplace, you know. I, I can get butt naked by the fireplace, you know. <laughs> Look at this big closet. A year ago, I was living out of a box. And now I have uh, five boxes now. I have a lot of, a lot of space here, and these are all Kathy's clothes, and man, what a difference a year makes, and, and I just, you know, just, God, it's a, it's a hallelujah moment every, every day I wake up, because when I come in someplace like this, this closet, I just say, man, you know, I couldn't have prayed for anything like this, I couldn't have dreamed of anything like this, and it just happened to me, and, and God, it's just un unbelievable. In a spacious new home where his closet doubles as a recording booth and with his girlfriend Kathy and his sober living coach Eric, Ted now enjoys the kind of life he threw away with decades of alcohol and drug abuse. Melissa, uh, Eric's uh, fiance, gave me this beautiful cake and it said, happy one, happy first anniversary. And it says, happy anniversary, Ted. And, uh, you know, it says a lot in one year. Kathy's been by my side, bless her heart, you know, but here I am in my own condominium a year later, cutting an anniversary cake, and you know, God is good, and I, I need a knife, and I'll, I'll, cut, the, I'll cut the cake. And Ted knows he has some good friends here at Studio 4. Thank you so much for entertainment tonight. Yes, we were humbled to say we helped Ted rise up after he had fallen so far. I was basically panhandling at home. A friend of mine introduced me to cocaine. He was in the business, gave me a pipe, and it was on. Ted promised to get sober, so we made him part of our family. Now, the latest celebrity headlines from around the world. Soon, he even became a voice for Kraft Foods. Kraft home-style macaroni and cheese. From homeless to Hollywood. <laughs> we all knew Ted had to kick his addictions. E.T. staffers, including supervising producer Amy Purnell and senior news producer Jeffrey Wilson, put their lives on hold to guide Ted into rehab. Oh, you will. It did take two tries at rehab before Ted committed to sobriety, but his life is on track today. His book, A Golden Voice, How Faith, Hard Work, and Humility Brought Me From the Streets to Salvation, releases May 10th. And he is the voice of cable news group NECN. I'm so proud and so privileged and so grateful to have this opportunity. What a difference a year makes, and, and I just, you know, just, God, it's a, it's a hallelujah moment. Every, every day I wake up. Amy, Jeff over at Entertainment Tonight, thank you all. Thank you. Entertainment Tonight, thank you. 